I'm happy here to be at Monique Danielle show with Larry Hazard. What are you up to right now? Well, I'm not up to them. what you see is what I'm up to. <laughs> but you're always, you're always about helping people, I've always, even when you were commissioner. Well, about helping kids mainly, yeah, but helping yeah. people in general. You know, that's what we're put here for. Yeah. You know, and uh, certainly I've been blessed in my life. People helped me. So, you know, it's, it's, only, it's only fair that I help others. I have to give back. You know. you know, I love this sport, and I was watching a YouTube. It was a boxing match, and you were refereeing, and it was on regular TV. Why is boxing not on regular TV like it used to be? Well, I guess it's all about money and a lot of other things. Um, but I think in order for boxing's popularity uh, to come back like yes. it once was, it should go on regular television because a lot of this pay-per-view stuff that they try to sell Yeah really is not sellable no and um, people lose interest yes. in the game and you know when you have up-and-coming talent in order for more people to see it you have to put it out there and make it more accessible to the general population and yeah, a lot like, of people can't afford it so it's best to put it on regular television yeah like you could put a your, your Yorkers Gamboa who hits hard one of the best hitters in the business put him on NBC Sell that, let them fight some fights, then put them on paper before everybody knows them. Well, the marketing strategies change over the years. Um, but you know what happens, like the wheel turns, and after they begin to lose enough money, you know, they'll come back around to doing it the right way. Certainly in order for boxing to regain some of the luster and popularity that it once had. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to go back to that old formula. You know, ABC, NBC, CBS, you know, that type of um, strategy. And I think that that's a solution to it. So you heard. Uh, along with, you know, developing that talent yes. that people want to see. Now, one more question before we leave. The heavyweight division, the Caliscos are great, but is it a problem that there's no straight marketable heavyweight, that next guy that's going to come up to challenge him, that next great matchup? Well, American heavyweight, yes. you know, certainly um, the popularity of our sport has always hinged on the um, success yes. of a good American heavyweight, mm -hmm. you know, and so we have to get one. We have yeah. to find another one. But, you know, um, boxing in America is now dealing with the forces of basketball and football and all of that some of the other sports yes. and that's one of the things that that we don't have in boxing one we don't have the the lobbyists that some of the other sports have to promote our sport and then our sport is not really associated with education you know the interscholastic Hello. sports you yes. follow me yes so that's why i've always been a great advocate of somewhere if we can get the sport of boxing into the interscholastic scheme of things, whether it be uh, through the uh, club type of situation mm -hmm. or whether into uh, make it an interscholastic sport. I mean, football is just as dangerous as boxing. Yes. So that old excuse that the sport is too dangerous, that doesn't hold water anymore. And it it's really not like promoting violence because there are other forms of violence. Football is violence, Yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, at some point, if we can get boxing, you know, into that educational realm where it could go from the high schools to the college level, where youngsters could even get scholarships to go to college on boxing. I think that it certainly would increase the interest in the sport. So you heard it here, Larry Hazard. Thanks a lot, man. You dropped a lot of knowledge on people. You better recognize the things he said. That's very important. Okay.